you know, people always say that, well, five fans, they want a team, win or lose, that's going to leave everything on the ice. And I believe, I know we accomplished that because our team, we've battled, you know, we had a few, a few games that we'd like to have back, like every team. But all, uh, you know, all in all, I believe we really worked hard. First of all, the whole year, I, I think it was a really uh, interesting season. Before I put a number on anything or evaluation, you have to look at where you started, where were you before, you know, all those factors. And based upon the fact that the team had not made the playoffs in you know, four or five years, to make the playoffs was a was a potentially reachable goal, but a, a, a an admirable goal, you know, a, a goal that most uh, people would set for themselves. And you have to learn to walk before you run, and before that you crawl. So we came, we had to learn to walk, and uh, we were able to make the playoffs. And so just that alone, that was the one of the we reached a goal there and that uh the pursuit of it and all everything we went through was uh you know quite interesting how we did it but uh i mean that's you know a little story in itself but as far as uh you know how i feel about it i feel uh really good about what we accomplished this year so let me take you back to june last year um, the first time we spoke uh, over Zoom, and I think you'd, you'd been appointed about a week before we were just announcing it. Um, how, how much did you know about the organisation and how much did you understand about the Elite League and, and what you were you're coming into? Well, I only knew, uh, of, well, I follow all the leagues somewhat, but I knew... Uh, something of the um the eihl because i had my team i had in poland we had played in the continental cup against belfast in belfast so uh, and we played them enough that i knew the level of the team of belfast and they were uh last year's champions so i kind of going from there i knew i felt i knew what i wanted to do and uh or what I had to do, what we had to do to com to hopefully be able to compete. So I had to make a decision to, at the time. Uh, how do you know? How do you think you want to build this team? So I felt that the best way to compete, and knowing what I, knowing then what I, uh, I know more now than I knew then. But I felt that we had to have speed, and so I tried to build the team on speed guys that were good skaters and i believe that even uh, after the first month coaches were telling me other coaches had said would you tell your team to slow down <laughs> so that was a i think we caught caught uh caught off the eye of uh, other coaches and uh so we that was one thing that we i kind of felt we had to set set out for and we did we had, and I know that in speaking to uh, people around the organization a little bit, uh, that, you know, people always said that, well, five fans, they want a team, win or lose, that's going to leave everything on the ice. And I believe, I know we accomplished that because our team, we've battled, you know, we had a few, a few games that we'd like to have back, like every team. But all, uh, you know, all in all, I believe we really worked hard, uh, almost game in, game out. We took it on the road with us, and I think uh, our games were tight, close games, close games. And they were too close. To, uh, I bet you if you looked at the scores, you tell me how many games we won by more than two goals. I don't know if we did until we beat uh, Dundee six to two or whatever that 
six one whatever it was in Dundee there a week or so back. Like I can't remember playing against any team and beating them by more than one. <laughs> like it was always a close, close affair. And uh, we might have had a few at home that we won 4-1 or 3-1, but boy, they were all close games. Every game was a close game. Every game was a friggin' battle. You didn't battle, you didn't do everything you had to do, you weren't gonna win. But uh, anyway, so that was, and I think we did that, so that I'm really proud of that fact. It's, it's true what you say there. It's, it's long been said that if you put a, a team on the ice that is willing to battle for 60 minutes, yeah. the fans will respond and this building will fill up. And that's exactly what, what happened out there. Yeah, it is. It's really what happened. I'll say it again. If it wasn't for the December schedule, I mean, it took so much out of our team. And then the combination at the same time of errors, or injuries, I should say, injuries uh, at that time. I'm losing Shane Nolan for five games, and we had a couple defensemen that went down. At, uh, and the, the way the league rules are, they don't allow, you know, it's almost like, hey, it's almost, they don't allow you to fill in for injured players, which is ridiculous in my opinion, but I've got a lot to say about that. And uh, that's another topic, but uh, it's uh, that was a tough. But take out December, and boy, we were in the, we were in it. And I think without December, we would have finished probably fifth, the way we were going, and how we rebounded after uh, the after Christmas into the new year, and then having one of the best records in the league for January, February, and March uh, was a really, was a real accomplishment for us. It showed that we improved as the year went on uh, in my mind. So I'm pretty proud of that too. I thought, uh, I know you're just baiting me here, Ali, to talk about that because it's ridiculous what, how that turned out. Nothing was really stacked in our favor. We had to make it that way. On the stretch drive, we knocked three of uh, three of uh, four uh, top seeded teams off in their and two of them at, in their home rink. So that was big. We didn't do that. We were probably weren't gonna. Well, as the points dictated in the end, we weren't we weren't gonna make it.